Welcome to another video by Pharos Technology. Today we are going to include those history majors out there who need to write their papers in Chicago format. Here we go, creating a template just for them. And what we want to do is open up the styles portion of the home ribbon. The styles portion of the ribbon will open up on the side here. And we're going to edit the normal style for our template here. So when we do that, we'll click this down arrow here. We go to modify. And the thing that we need to modify to get it into true double space mode is to modify the paragraph format. So when we click on paragraph here, it'll open up the paragraph dialog box. And so the space in the dialog box we're interested in here is right here where it says spacing. We don't want extra spacing after the paragraph because the format for Chicago style, the Chicago manual of style, is to have true double spacing between every line in the paper. So we want to put this at zero. And then our line spacing, we're going to tell it to be double space. Now double space, we don't have to tell it specifically how much double spacing we need. Double spacing has got its own definition. Now, one thing about Chicago Manual of Style is that they'll have it indented for the first line of each paragraph. So we'll go up here to this special box here under indentation, and we'll go ahead and tell it the first line should be indented. It'll be indented by a half an inch. When we click OK, we'll be in good shape here. Now, pretty much all manuals, the APA format, the MLA format, they'll basically start with Times New Roman for their main font, and it'll be 12 point font. They do allow you to deviate from that, but all of them start with that basic su suggestion for a serif font. For a sans serif font, it's something like Arial um, or Calibri, something like that. So if we wanted to modify the uh, type of uh, font that we use, we just click that format button again and go to font and we can then change it. And right here we can type in Times New Roman and we can put it, leave it at regular and put it to 12. Now by default out of the box, uh, Word wants to use Calibri at 11 points. And, and that actually is one of the acceptable fonts that they list for Chicago Manual Style. So you could just leave it as is. Um, I'm partial towards Times New Roman. It's a very clear, readable type. And a lot of the books that you open up and read in the stores, when you go to a bookstore and pick a book off the shelf, will be in Times New Roman. So when you click OK here, we've managed to change the font to what we want the whole paper to look like. And we've changed it to true double space. The next thing you want to accomplish after you hit OK on that dialog box is to put a page number on the right side of the header. So inserting a page number is pretty easy. In fact, they give you a, a little applet on the second ribbon, the insert ribbon here. And if we scoot over to the right, we can insert a page number right here at the top of the page. And we want a plain number on the right. So that will give us a basic page number at the upper right in the header area of your document. Now double click outside of that and you have your page number set up. Now those page numbers will continue from page after page after page and it'll be just fine. Now the next thing you want to do is build that title page. So they specify that you should come down about a third of the page for the title. So I'm going to hit enter about four times, oh five, six times, somewhere in that five to six double space range and then you want to center your, your title. Now that's not truly centered. If you'll notice, if I scroll up here, you'll notice that it's at three and a, that it's at three and a half inches. And I've got an eight and a quarter inch paper and the space that I'm allotted after margins is seven, six and a half inches here. That would put halfway at three and a quarter. And the reason for that is that this right here, the indentation is out there. So move that to the left and there you've got 
the space for your title. Now just put the word title in there. And that'll be your placeholder when we save this as a template so you can put in your own title. And then you want to put a few spaces down there. You want to put in your name. So I'm going to put in Richard Hansen here and the course number and name. And then you want to put in the date. Okay. So once you have the date in there now, you can then move to the first page. Now, in order to move to the first page, hit the enter key underneath that and then go back to your insert. Now you want the next page to start right at the very top. You don't want that extra space. You don't want your instructor, you know, getting out the measuring tape and measuring to see if you have an actual one inch margin at the top of your paper. So in order to do that, you insert a page break and it'll put it right at the top. Now we still got some centering issues there. It's still centered from our title and from the title page. So we want to go ahead and go back to the home tab. We want to hit this left justify button here under the paragraph applet here. And then we want to move our indentation icon there back to be regular indented and there we have the beginning of our next paper. Now, Chicago Manual of Style generally is a, a style where you put footnotes at the end of each page where you reference your sources. So if I was uh, citing um, a source here, so I, I just typed citing a source there, what I would do then is come up here and I would reference a footnote here and insert a footnote and notice up here, it put a one and put a one there. And I, I would recommend Z Zotero as a reference editor, but if you're free forming it, you would put in your reference information here. And then on your last page, once you're done here, you would put in the reference information on your references page. Okay, and so now on your last page, the last piece of the template we're gonna to put together here is we're gonna to go to the end of that first line. We're also going to um, hit an enter key there so it starts our next paragraph. And then I want to insert another page break and I want to center, go back to home here, and I want to center it and take out the indentation there and now this is my bibliography page. And here is where you would put your bibliography. Now, Chicago Manual of Style does not have you double space the actual bibliography reference, but wants you to double space between references. So here you're gonna to need to override the, the normal style in this case. You might wanna add a style that call, that's just references over here, where it's not double spaced, for the reference itself, um, you create what they call a hanging indent page. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's put this back on left justify here. We're going to go ahead and on this particular page, we wanna just open the paragraph format item here. And for this, for our special indent, we want a hanging indent and we want it single spaced. So what we've done now is we've set the bibliography page up to be special in that we have not edited the normal template, but when we get to this page, we already have the format set up so that it will be single spaced. And then at the end of each reference, the second line of the reference, when we hit enter, we'll have to hit enter twice to go down and give it that extra space between bibliography entries. And so you click OK. Now here's the real secret. You've got the paper all set up. It's all ready for you to use. What you want to do is save it as a document template. So what you do now is you go up here to save as, and I'm gonna go ahead and save it in my documents folder for my university and give it a name, Chicago Format Template. But here, I am going to come down here and save it as a word template, D-O-T-X, instead of a D-O-C-X. 
and save it as a word template. And when I hit the save button, it's ready to go. Now, the way you use it is you go and you double click on this to start your next paper. Then the first thing you do is you save your paper, do a save as, and save it and give it the name of the title of the next paper you're writing. And then everything's laid out and ready for you to use. So I hope this has been helpful. Look forward to seeing you again. Thanks. If you enjoyed the content that you saw today and would like to help me grow the channel, hover your mouse over my picture to the left and click on subscribe. There are also other videos showing on the screen that you might enjoy.